G'day, this is Gary 7 and welcome to my channel. If you like this sort of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, help my little channel out, and uh, leave a comment below about your experiences in World of Warships. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video, which looks like I already am. I'm sailing off. <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, positioning um, and the importance of positioning uh, when you're in a battleship. So I've got some examples that I wanted to uh, share with you today. Now, these videos are sort of catered towards beginners, those that have come into the game, or some people that want to improve their gameplay. Now, it's always easier said than done, uh, so it's better that I try and show you some gameplay that I've I found on the computer. I was scratching through to see if I could sort of demonstrate what I was trying to preach, basically. So I'm going to talk about bow tanking. So I am currently sitting in a position on the corner of the mat trying to hold a flank down and a battleship is coming in at me now this battleship that I'm facing is not giving me anything to shoot at which is excellent there's he's he's doing the right thing when coming in and for, um, coming in at me he's not trying to get all his guns to bear on me I'm also angling and sort of trying to bow tank now the last thing you ever want to do is run you need to have a position in which you have an exit strategy so at the moment my exit strategy is to back up I can back up and pull around the corner but the point of this video is to show you that um, bow tanking so I am holding this flank down I don't want to give an inch I don't I do not want to let this uh, battleship come around the corner I don't want them to take the advantage now at the moment I am being harassed by CV planes and getting torpedo bombed but that's okay. Um, when you're in combat, you'll be under a lot of pressure. Again, I haven't. I'm not giving up my position, and I'm keeping my bow directly towards the opponent. Now he's given up a bit too much skirt, and he's going to get punished severely for it. So when you when you give up too much of your sides, and and it doesn't matter if you play a battleship or um, a cruiser or a destroyer. You are going to get sitted out and you're going to get punished severely. Now his attention was on me to begin with and now it's been redirected to my teammate which allows me to continue to focus fire him. It is important even when under pressure to keep your cool and um, keep your eye on the target and understand why you're in that position to begin with and why you're wanting to, to defend it. Uh, so this is just uh, the same game, but just further on with it. I just wanted to sort of point out uh, for bits and pieces here. Now again, this this video, these video replays aren't really here. I'm not trying to show you how much damage I'm doing or anything like that. It's really to, uh, designed to show you um, bow tanking and making sure you don't give an inch to your opponent. Don't give up your sides. This particular um, battleship allows me, it gives me a lot of speed. And all the guns are facing forward. So with this ship I am going to um, straighten up and not give an inch. Now the ship in front of me, the battleship, has given up some skirt. Lucky for him that I had HE loaded. So I am it's important to recognize the positioning on the field. So I quickly change to AP in order to try and finish him off. If he continues on this path. As I look on the mini-map, I can see his direction is slightly to come in a little bit, or to stay on course. So he's not changing course, and he's not moving away, so he gets punished absolutely severely. If you're going to give up your side, um, it's, 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 you, got, you, you have to understand what you're doing and why you're doing it for. And of course, he's being destroyed. Now, I've got another replay here, and this was in my... Um, um, turpits. Now this battleship's known for close combat um, support and has torpedoes and has brilliant secondaries. But again, I am not using all my I'm not trying to bring all my guns to bear in order to take care of this particular battleship. Now this in this map this battleship is if you look um, closely he is overextended and in a really really bad spot right now there was no need for him to overextend like this this overextension is going to cost him um, well it's going to cost him his battleship basically and his ability to play the game just because you have 
uh, four turrets on your battleship doesn't mean that you need to bring them to bear every single time you're in combat. Sometimes it's best to bow tank your way through this and try not to overextend yourself. Now, I just wanted to point out one little thing here that there's a cruiser coming around the corner and I knew he was coming around the corner. This is a bad spot for a cruiser or anybody that comes through. If you're giving up your sides like this, now I know the cruiser's unlikely to penetrate uh, my armour as being a battleship, but he's, fall he's going broadside full skirt. Now I know why he's doing this, and he's doing this because he wants to launch torpedoes. It is the most likely thing that um, a Japanese cruiser like to do. So he's given up too much skirt and he's turning, hold your shot, fire, and you hope that you're going to get a citadel. Giving up so much skirt is going to hurt you in the long run. You've got to know when to turn in combat. Again, in this replay, I'm in the Dunkirk, this was a previous replay we were looking. This is what happens when you give up too much skirt. Um, and it goes for the same as battleships, but in a cruiser you're going to get punished severely. So in, a, so in a game like this, he is overextended. There's no need for a person to be playing at this far out of position. And of course, the punishment's coming. So it is very important to understand positioning. Um, where your teammates are on the on the battlefield. This is another one that I wanted to show you. This this cruiser is going to give up his skirt. He's going to give up his side in order to turn in battle. And he's probably wanting to run from the fight. The problem is um, he's caught and he's caught down in a bit of a crossfire section down here, and there's nowhere to run. When you find yourself in a position, you need to understand why you're pushing up into that position in the first place. You get, you either commit or you don't. Um, when you sort of half commit, you, you'll end up re with results like this. You end up with running with your tail between your legs. If you're gonna, you, if you're gonna push forward, make sure that you understand what's in front of you and who is supporting you. The biggest thing is understanding um, enemy movements. But not just enemy movements. You've got to understand um, our, uh, our alliance movements as well. Your team's movements. That's the biggest thing. Now this is another video and I'm in Moselle. Look at the map and tell me what's wrong with this battleship. He is alone and he is getting severely cross-fired. He's coming in. He can only target one ship at a time. That which means that he's giving up his left side and I'm on the side that he's not firing at. So I'm just going to rain down HE and just spam him to death. He has played way out of position and this is a position you don't want to get caught in as a beginner. You do not want to be caught alone. You're, you're up against, you've, you've, you're, you, you're, you're not going to win this engagement. The only hope he's got is ramming. Which is just as bad position because you're really giving up your ship for another ship. You're trading, but it's not going to be a trade worthwhile if you can't pull it off. So they've come around, he's pushed in too far, and as you can see, it's not going to end well for this Bismarck. I just want to point that out, that you've got to know where your enemy team is, and the reasons for pushing up. Some people play these close combat um, ships in order to get their secondaries off of their torpedoes I mean because the ship's got torpedoes doesn't mean you want to use them and this Bismarck is about to go down and guess what's going to happen next we have another target coming down here <laughs> the exact same thing is going to happen again now I'm playing in a random but I'm positioned if, if you're going going against a ship like this always split up so that that the the target cannot target you so if you this battleship can't target all of us and we're basically um, you got a kill zone now this is the zone this is not what this is what you've got to be aware of when when going into combat doesn't matter how good of a ship you have you can't take on several targets at once especially when they've split up and this is crossfire this is the worst thing that you can get yourself into and, and that is into a crossfire position 
Um, and the, he's going to get punished. And yeah, this is something that you want to be very careful of when pushing forward. Um, and being very aggressive like this is not to walk into crossfire like this. It is an absolute suicide mission. Anyway, if you like this sort of content, don't for, don't forget to um, hit the like button, uh, subscribe, and leave a comment below. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> Bye.